Prova, prova. Is it working, no? Can you hear us? Fantastico. Thanks, thanks a lot for bringing us the sun again. So <laughs> we, we started. We come from Italy, so. <laughs> That's why. So uh, uh, welcome, everybody. This is a very Italian panel. So I'm very happy to host today uh, three main players. Uh, one is uh, Elisa uh, with, uh, for, for Lavazza. We have Andrea from, uh, from, uh, from Barilla and Marco for, from Nielsen. So, Hi everyone. ready to start? Ready. Okay, you will have a lot. We will ask you so many questions today, huh? so <laughs> prepared. We will bring the rain again, so. <laughs> hey, sorry, please rain again. <laughs> so, the, um, the first very broad questions we wanted to raise today, you know, uh, because the, the, the main topic is exploring, especially what are the advertiser expectations you have uh, for a, a media players such as our RTL? And also having uh, Nielsen that can answer on a, on a different perspective, so on a research perspective uh, today. Um, the first question we want to raise is how you, as a brand, you know, connect with your consumers? Andrea, if you want to start. Okay, okay. Well, uh, until a few years ago, connecting with consumer basically mean doing advertising. So we work in the awareness phase. Now it's much more complex. We, we still have to work in the awareness phase. Sure. We have to go in the consideration phase. So to give the consumers reason to choose our products. And then we also have to, to, to work in the decision phase. Uh, as, a, as a Barilla, we, we, don't sell, we don't sell directly to the, to the people, we'll sell to the retailer, but we have to give a reason even in the point of sale to the people to buy our products when they see our products and the competition and, and sometimes the retailers are our main competitor. So we have to cover uh, the entire panel. Of course, covering this means having different assets, so okay. creativity means having different data, so measurement, Sure. And of course, the collaboration with, uh, with media is very important because also in the awareness part, we need content that are compelling. So keep the people watching the content and watching the ads. In the consideration phase, we sometimes need the publisher to help us build the content. And in the purchase phase, we have to work with the retailer, our frenemies. Of course, they are super important for you guys. Yeah. And I guess it, I mean, as we are talking about more or less this not the same product, but probably the same issues from you, Lavazza. Maybe you can add something as well. Yeah, I, I think in, from Andrea's point, uh, obviously we are, we are following the consumers uh, and we also have the ability to, the, to follow them to the purchase, the very last part of the, the purchase with, with the, our e-commerce proprietary or due to uh, other platform for e-commerce. So I think that the, the point now is that the, the purchase in any case could be shortened Maybe in one way sure. is not following all the uh, the paths. Sometimes it's reversed, uh, but the interesting part in the relation with, should be with the consumers. I think is that they're also feeding us back, so they're they're giving us uh, an exchange. It's not obviously one way communicating. This is what I appreciate. What we are getting back for for consumers, we can take also the the suggestion, and uh, I think this is the the, the part of the reverse uh, journey that we are following the, the consumers through. That's, that's make a lot of sense or, uh, to, or to, to us. And uh, this is also, I mean, having Nielsen here, no? uh, maybe you can also help brands uh, in following their funnels when it comes to, con to reach the consumers in a proper way. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Lucky enough, we work with a lot of marketers and um, I would say uh, the power of data is probably the right sentence, right? I mean, during the entire funnel uh, that was described before, from the reach uh, to the resonance to the reaction, because they are becoming more and more difficult. So in, in, if you look at the reach, for instance, right? Uh, 15 years ago, you had uh, linear TV and pay TV. Now you have uh, 10 different channels, 20 different channels. How can you calculate the reach? How can you t take the reach uh, under control? Resonance is the same. The number of messages increased in, in, uh, in uh, exponentially, and for this reason, uh, it's always more difficult to have a, a, a good resonance. So, in all this journey, we want to provide more and more solution and data to our clients to make sure that they attain 
the right decision in an insightful way. And you, you correctly mentioned, of course, the raising of different medias and uh, also this uh, comes uh, and drives us to the second question that is more about you know, the lack of attention of any and each consumers. Because of course, nowadays, uh, uh, the increasing numbers of platforms uh, uh, or messages, uh, it's getting harder and harder no, to reach our, our consumers. And here is um, where you know, advertisers uh, uh, or brand communication can really answer you know, this increasing of lack of attention, you know, working hand in hand uh, between advertisers and media companies such as uh, us, or such as everyone who's producing interesting content for for a brand. I don't know, Elisa, if you have some... Uh, we were trying different experiences. You have many, <laughs> you have many. Obviously, many. we've been struggling with the lack of attention, and we do not want to, to get the forced view. So we really want the users to choose us. And they are bombarded, they are getting even smarter, they know how to avoid any kind of advertising. So we are, in a way, I think that brands are becoming production companies as well. So we are yes. investing a lot in, uh, in production, in ideas, and engaging the audience to deliver and then the, the concepts they are interested, really interested. So they do not feel it's, I want to escape from this content. You are giving me the right content, so I will follow you and I will spend a lot of time with you. So once you get the correct trick, then you're gonna have the consumer spend a lot of time with you. So I think this is the important thing to work with the broadcasters using their knowledge of the content and build, really building in line. We had uh, several experiences. We used to, as Lavazza, to, to provide a lot of contents in our history. And we had uh, different experience. One of them, we build our own content. We produce it uh, on our own with production costs using obviously production agencies, using big celebrities, uh, maybe writers, songwriters. Uh, and this was attracting the, the audience. This is uh, what we really appreciated because uh, even there is well, not a big name in the publisher world, uh, but behind our uh, efforts, then the users decided to watch 15 minutes in a row for this content. So this for us was the success of how it was uh, perceived. If the, the users decide to spend 15 minutes of their time with you and they're asking, when are you coming with new episodes? This meaning that uh, you do the right choice. But this is what we do by ourselves. Then we want to also get the experience of the publishers and mm -hmm. maybe get the suggestion on the, on the celebrities it would better to use on the right tone of voice on the content so i think that this could be a shared effort also to to receive and to get the, the objectives yeah i hope uh, this is um this message is uh, loud and clear as we are sitting uh, on an rtl stage uh, and I'm sure that you, Andrea, <laughs> has some, no. some talks as well. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree with Elisa, of course. And also we at Barilla, we try more and more to, to work with publishers because building content is a, is a proper job and you have to do with a professional approach. So sometimes agencies can help you uh, as a brand. And as a matter of fact, last year we did a project, an in-house project where uh, content about how the story of carbonara recipe and this is, was a content design in house and produ produced with a, with a, with a, an agency. But for example, we do uh, product placement with MasterChef or with other uh, top programs or I don't know, top publisher. Because what we expect from a publisher, first of all, is com competence in building proper, pro proper compelling content. This is the first point. You do this for a living. In this, not uh, you are not amateur in this, and so we want to 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 leverage in your co competence. Then, since you are good at building content, you have huge audiences, and we want to tap in these audiences. So these are the two points. And then, since you are very good, you have a very strong brands, and we want uh, to our brand to be associated with these brands. So this is what we require to our partners when it comes to working with publisher. Being good at building content, having huge audiences, and a very strong brand that we can put our brands to, with them. So in a, in a nutshell, the sort of... Uh, Content is king, uh, but also distribution is queen. So helping you guys in, in creating the right content together, sure. shape the content that suits uh, 
your values that suits, uh, of course, uh, uh, the content create and the, and the values of the of the media channels. And on the other side, has also the nice suggestion to distribute it as well. Yeah, and um, that's uh, that's really uh, very interesting topics. And Nielsen, I know that you just released a, a very interesting uh, uh, research on uh, on on this. It was research um, based on. 2000 marketers uh, so you yes. question as uh, 2000 yeah. marketers yeah yeah 2000 marketers across the world in this case i will mix uh, a bit uh, what we what we have got from this research with what we get from the consumer research that we run daily right i mean uh, in terms of uh, in terms of messages i would say the content is king but need to be authentic so authenticity is absolutely important because otherwise what we what we what we see from the consumer because otherwise it's not perceived as a, as a positive credibility so the messenger should be credible and uh, and address the right, the message in the right way and then we go again on understanding the target uh, analyzing the data addressing the right message to the right uh, community otherwise uh, you get lost in a in a ocean of, of messages across the world, right? So also, also measurability is still a very important, you know, yes. take out. Yes, it is, and it's becoming more and more uh, important and more and more difficult. So uh, interoperability of the metrics uh, in a world that is going to be multi-channel is the first, uh, is the gold mine, right? It's the holy grail. The possibility to measure what you go, what you have on digital channels on, uh, print, uh, online, uh, radio, and TV is something that uh, is absolutely important for marketers. I guess that you can agree on these. Uh, uh, I, mean, the I really need it. <laughs> uh, I would love to, to, to find uh, an industry, also benchmark, of how to measure and how to evaluate this kind of content project. How do you evaluate? What is the success based on? Is it only the audience? No, maybe not. What is it, the engagement, what is it? Uh, how do you measure the effect? Uh, I think we, we should work together as the industry to find uh, a common way of evaluating and then also fight for, for this kind of branded content project. And, and also, uh, and also I, 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 I ask you, Andrea, if uh, this measurability could be for you an important asset, not only when it comes to a branded content, but also when you use different medias, for example, I don't know, when you leverage messages on, on television, on digital, on addressable TV, out of home, uh, how yeah. can you measure no, the, <laughs> all the, you know, the cross uh, of those medias? Uh, of course, um, what we do, we do s several MMM models, marketing or media mix modeling, according if you, if you measure all the contribution of all, all the marketing levers or just the media levers. And uh, we work with both with uh, companies like Nielsen, but now we are also building an in-house competence about uh, MMM modeling yeah. in order to have all the data coming from the company in the same, in the same platform. And so to be able to, to extract insight from this platform from ourselves. And so this we should also shorten the cycles of um, when you get the data and when you action the data, because this is very important, because especially when you work in the awareness part with, for example, for TV, the data provision from TV partners and uh, from media partners is quite slow. It's still, you, you get the data after many weeks. Sure. Digital is almost online. The point is that digital is, it is online, but it's so granular sometimes that you don't get the real insight from it. And so you need time to analyze the data. And if you put all together and you also put sales and other, and other brand metrics in the same platform, you can, you can understand the return of investment not only in, on sales, that sometimes awareness is not made for sales, but also on brand metrics like uh, brand right. favorability or whatever the metrics that you want to investigate with the people that you, that you address. And this is very important because if you build this, then you can also relate how the brand metrics have an impact on the sales metrics. Because if you, if you analyze them separately, Maybe you say, okay, this campaign worked very well because people remember the brand. Brand awareness. Or this campaign worked very well because people bought the product. Fine. But understanding if the two work Both. together is the holy grail, just to use an expression that he said. And uh, yes, we are, we are going for it. And maybe, maybe um, hopefully, the, the, the medias uh, will help 
yeah, you in uh, in developing also this part. Maybe there will be some new tools that uh, will be released also from a media perspective. Uh, so I'm sure that industry is somehow you know uh, trying to find uh, the best tools also to support advertisers on 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 this. So we hope so. Listen, us guys. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess that we cover all the all the topics today. Um, if anyone should raise any questions or do those guys, uh, happy to to hear from you. Otherwise, I will thank you so much this for being here. This is the last here. panel, right? So after that, there is a drink usually, right? Of course, <laughs> Romanis. Now I guess that the DJ set will start very soon. Correct me if I'm wrong. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie.